This is the Sofern SP33S. So this is the upgraded version of the SP33 version 3. So the version 3 had, um, we had like a FET plus 1 driver in it. Uh, it was unregulated, it was using a, um, a Cree XHP 50.2 3 volt LED in it. And it could only um, it could only sustain about 600 lumens. Um, and this one here has got a boost driver in it. It's got XHP 70.2, um, and it is able to hold uh, 1100 lumens. So it's almost twice the amount of uh, twice the amount of lumens that it's actually able to um, to maintain, and it is really good to see. So um, I'm just doing a quick uh, quick overview of my um, in my reviews now of me talking. I was just getting too much with the editing, uh, taking too, way too long, and I just need to get things done quick with the amount of lights that I'm getting when this channel is growing as it is. More companies taking notice. So here, then you've got the lanyard attachment. Uh, so ferns are usually quite a sharp edge to it, but because the uh, surface of the, the tail cap here um, and you just don't get that on this one so this is the, just a bit of knurling on this it does add um, a, a bit of grip to it but it's also I believe there just to give it a better um, but better look to it so the the build quality is um, you know standard so firm build quality it's quite good um, and then the anodizing and the finish is um, pretty good. I haven't seen any issues on it at all. Um, so moving up here to the switch, you've got just the battery indicator on here. Quite a, um, uh, I was going to say a good feel to it, but it's not really. Uh, it's a bit mushy, quite a bit of play to it. Um, I prefer like the rubber switches. Um, even though they do, you know, wear out and you have to replace them, I don't really like these too much um, but yeah so yeah you've got the um, orange peel reflector here this is the uh, 70.2 in cool white I would like them to see hopefully see um, warmer tint options later on it's uh, around 5000 K is more my preference um, but yeah so you've got the um, USB type C um, charging built in charging here it actually has a power bank as well and it supports um, USB C to C charging no problem but yeah um, so this is the just the beam profile this is the other thing that I don't really like on these um, XHP 50 and 70 model LEDs is that you in the center you get a nice uh, sort of white hot spot and then out to the edges it can be a bit of a greeny yellow normally a yellow um, corona and then it spreads out into the the flood where you get a um, bit of a purple um, hue to it and that's known as the the Cree rainbow um, and you can sort of kind of get rid of that um, a bit with um, an orange pill reflector or some diffusing paper that you can put over the glass it really helps with that but yeah, so this is just a quick uh, look at the operation here. Click for on, click for off. Um, hold from off is the echo. Um, then you've got, uh, while it's on, hold. Cycle through the levels. And then you've got three clicks. Get you the strobe. Uh, four clicks from on. That goes to, to change between smooth and uh, stepped and smooth ramping here. Um, and then from off, one, two, three, four, we'll get you the uh, lockout. And then while it's off, this is another feature that I've added is five clicks will change the switch indicator from on, flashing, and off. So one, two, three, four, five. That's on, just uh, so you can find it in the dark. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's quite nice for them to add. Um, uh, so a lot of people requested on the models that have the Andro firmware on here. So just a nice addition they've got. 
Um, but yeah, this can hold um, 1100 lumens. Um, it doesn't appear to want to step down below that. Um, on you'll see on my graphs coming up that on the turbo, um, on the turbo it stepped down to 1100 and just coasted along there. Um, it reached 57 degrees Celsius max and just yeah just didn't want to step down further. Um, on the high graph, um, I tested it in slightly cooler weather, um, and it was. Um, uh, once it had stepped down off the high, it steps down at 50 degrees Celsius, and when it got to uh, when it got to the 1100 lumen step down there, it fluctuated a bit. It jumped sort of up and down, um, and then after it had gone, it kept um, increasing in temperature over the 50. It just it just stayed at the 1100 lumens. Um, but if you are using it in um, in, in a place uh, that is it's quite cool quite a, a cold place um, and it dips if it dips under that 50 degrees Celsius after that initial um, temperature step down at the 50 um, you will start seeing it like a roller coaster throughout the whole graph um, and it's something so and really need to improve on it's been on their models um, for uh, years um, and if they can't do the job properly in their coding they need to get rid of it and just have it so that it steps down and then when it cools down you can manually bump it up otherwise it kind of it kind of ruins it a bit um, but yeah it's um, a very good light otherwise a, a very good improvement over the previous version yeah so I've got the, the the graphs that I've talked about and then I've got my camera beam shots as well as the drone and I put it up against the um, put it up against the Cyan Sky P25, the Workos TS21, and the Sofern SP35. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 